Welcome back everybody to week 62 of my reboot progression series. We're gonna kick things off today with a quick covert run here because after reaching 22 star god gamer status in the last episode, I completely blanked on this and forgot to show off the new score, right? And with what I have planned for this episode, at the end of the episode I think I have to, you know, do a score reveal again because the main act of this episode is gonna be the new Misty Island Totem, never mind it's Legion Peace, right? So yeah, we're gonna get that as well as we're gonna go over the weekly bosses and my uh, fabulous drops this week and do some upgrading afterwards. So let's check it out together. While I wait for the Covert score to go up and up and up, I wanted to address one thing real quick uh, that has been introduced to the game and that is the Soul Order booster from the Cash Shop. There's basically another subscription on top of the already existing VAC Pet subscription that lets you get additional Soul Erda fragments on the daily, right, by completing your daily. So now what we are paying for this game monthly is roughly 10 euro for the VAC Pet upkeep as well as 30 euro for the Soul Erda booster if you want to be optimal about it, right? And here is where it just goes wrong for me to be honest. First of all, the pricing seems completely out of line, completely unreasonable, you know, 30k and X for a month of in-game item boost is just way too much for me. And besides that, if you're buying this, you're basically saying Nexon you're doing a good job monetizing your game, we want to see more stuff like this. So, personally, I'm not gonna buy this, and I can't think of any reason why you should buy the Soul Order Booster either, because I think it's completely ridiculous to put, you know, more monetization into the cash shop that's so, like, let's put it like that, worthless, right? For me, it's not like, oh, I would only pay 10, 20, 30 euro a month for this game. It's not like I put a hard limit on that, right? But for me, it's the question if I'm getting my money's worth, right? And if I were to buy this, I would basically say next Nexana, alright, you're doing a good enough job here to where I'm satisfied with spending my money with you. And honestly, even if the boost would be significant to my progression, which is, it isn't even because it's not even good enough, I would not buy it because I don't want to be sending that message. And I, I don't think you should be doing that either. So, because at the end of the day, next time are gonna look at this and be like, okay, this item that we put into it, the cash shop, was it a success or not? Should we continue putting items like that into the cash shop? Or should we maybe focus on getting some actual good items into the cash shop? And that's the main issue that I have with this item in particular here is because this is basically the placeholder for any other really good item that they could put into the cash shop. We really shouldn't be buying this trash, right? Even though, of course, it's gonna speed us up. Of course, you know, reboot is all about progressing your character, etc., right? But we're gonna be progressing our characters even without buying this, right? KMS doesn't have the daily, KMS doesn't have this item, and they are progressing just fine. I think we can do the same without throwing our money basically out of the windows here. And I just wanted to get this out of the way because honestly I do care about this because I would love to have a better playing experience, right? By purchasing better items from the cash shop. But you know, this is basically staying in my way here because you know, this is how Nexon chooses to monetize their game and I would rather they choose differently where, you know, I also get to some enjoyment out of it, right? So, at the end of the day, completely selfish reason why I'm putting this forward here, but at the same time, come on guys, this is ass. Do you really want to be part of a game that monetizes itself like that? Seriously, I, I don't, to be honest. It's so, it's so strange. This is just uh, such a scam, I think. And anyways, that's all that I wanted to, to talk about. As you've seen from the footage that's been playing, we got one drop from all of our weeklies, which is, you know, which is 
pretty okay, right? We got a drop. Uh, or, you know, let's put it like that, a useful drop, right? I also got a couple of ring boxes, which, you know, didn't yield anything because we are basically already capped out when it comes to this. We could get a weapon jump for... But to be honest, I would never ever switch to that, ever. Because it's just not worth it as a claw user. Besides that, yes, we got another pair of Estella earrings. So we're gonna upgrade our drop gear here next. So <laughs> let's check that out. So we're gonna start off with nearly 33 billion mesos. And, you know, yeah, let's put it like this. This was a cheap one <laughs> at least you know this didn't extract all the money from me i ended up getting this item back to 15 stars and that's it because honestly i just couldn't hit 17 anymore and i was so done with it but you know at least it boomed so quickly right at this point we are just charging our luck we are faced we are just failed stacking here in order to whenever the pitched item drops you know whatever it will be right we will get it to 22 straight away and you know failing here on on the drop gear is completely fine with me <laughs> okay on to our last mission oh wow mega lag <laughs> of course we are greeted by the mega lag so let me check out the new quest that i got here the end of the abyss achievement i think this is the one that gives us the legion piece here Blah blah blah, end of the abyss, end of the abyss, end of the abyss, okay. Can you say something else? No, okay. <sighs> Defeated every monster inside, yes, 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 okay. You can claim the reward only once per world. Wait, never mind, this is, this is something else. I thought this was the mission that we can go and defeat man on now. But apparently not, this is another growth potion, of course. Highly appreciated as always. I think if we can fit it in, you know, we might be able to hit another 250 in this episode. Otherwise, you know, it will wait uh, for next week. That's also completely fine. Okay, where's my my mission here to slay Manon? I should be able to do it now. I've unlocked Master 3 as well as I have the Expedition level 220. This should completely cover it, right? So... These are my characters. Oh, I, I don't have a skill here equipped. Let me just do that. Okay. Arrow something on this guy is completely without skills. So boom and boom. Okay. To be honest, I did not pay very close attention to this <laughs> at all. I'm sure I could have min-maxed, you know, some experience points on the daily. But to be honest... The bosses were so easy, so I, I I didn't need to worry about it at all. So Okay, I don't see any quests here. I think we can just go in and try our best. I already know that I need to relog after finishing up the quest, but you know I I'm not a hundred percent sure if I have it accepted even, so this should be it, right? Entry master level three, total mercenary level mercenary level 220 or higher i uh, guess that's us so let's check it out mega lag the usual right okay let's uh, go for our buff skills and yeah we can't see anything due to the arrow rain but that's also fine oh wow one looks kind of fun to be honest with the egg in its pouch here Okay, I don't think we have to use our teleport skill even once. Wow, like a 30 second run. That was super quick. Okay, did he drop anything? Yes, he did. So, I did hear the quest noise. Oh, also, before we get to it, let me just say it one, one last time. The music in this game is unbeaten, to be honest. Just for the, the sheer amount of quality music that you have in this game it is un unrivaled simply for the fact you know this game's really old and really big so of course you know you're gonna have a lot of bangers i mean that's what you would hope right but honestly this is something where the maple story team 
never fails to deliver it's probably outsourced i know right it's outsourced to another korean company and there the 17 year old intern comes up with these masterpieces etc but you know at the end of the day it makes it into <laughs> into the game that i'm playing and i'm having you know a great time with the music especially this theme right here yeah it's you know this one is is another top-notch theme and that's for an event map you know quite respectable to be honest here you know, after raging on about the freaking soul arabusa i'm here praising the music wow the duality of a man right and this is not it and do we have a quest here identisk the blessing returned but okay blah blah and oh, wait never mind this is not the identisk event this is this is where i should look right yeah exactly ancient manon's first achievement this is what i want to do here Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, I can only claim it once per world. That's completely fine. It would be kind of weird if I would be able to claim it a couple of times. Imagine doing this event on two characters. Damn. The amount of time spent would be ridiculous. Okay, this is permanent abyss hub mount compound. This is not the Legion block. What? Okay, the Legion block will be given when you log in again. Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna leave the event map prior to that because, you know, habits, I guess. So, here we are in Arteria. Let's log out. Yes, I haven't done anything today, as you can tell. Uh, da -da -dum. And let's log back in again. And now I'm, you know, expecting... A great improvement to my damage throughout my uh, heart. Uh, where is it? Ah, okay. Wait, okay. I couldn't even finish my sentence there because I was so puzzled by, you know, not being able to see it. Okay, it is listed after all other 250s. And it doesn't give any raid power? Raid power, I think, is what this is called, right? Yeah, exactly. Legion raid power. It doesn't give any legion raid power that, but we can assign it for. Oh wow, it looks. This is like a pirate, right? A pirate block. Yes, exactly. You can see from the thunderbreaker here. Basically, a pirate block. Okay, good to know. You know, for the legion solver, I have to put in pirate. Oh right, where do I, where do I even want to put it? What? I mean, I have no idea, especially, you know, this is my grinding setup, so I have normal monster damage, bonus XP crit damage, but I already have luck and attack basically filled, right? Yeah, as soon as the wind archer, because, yeah, by the way, you know, this is the guy that I was talking about. <laughs> as soon as the wind archer hits 250, this piece is gonna be filled here, and then I think, yeah, this should be... The Dawn Warrior and the Blaze Wizard here? No, the Dawn Warrior is somewhere completely else. I don't know what, <laughs> what I did with these two holes here, but yeah. Hmm. So anyways, let's get to it. Let's place this bad boy down. I guess we're gonna... Oh my god, the decision is so hard. I'm just gonna put it down here. Because yeah, I really need some time to come up with a, you know, pr a proper placement of this piece here. Because yeah. My training setup is basically done. I would need to... Huh. I guess I could put in... Less crit rate... In my hyper stats, right? Okay, let's take a look at that uh, first and foremost here. Okay, we are in the grinding hyper stats and I do... Put in five stats. But honestly, these are so cheap to put in. Man. Yeah, I don't know. Especially, you know, it's a grinding setup. I'm not 100% sure if it matters too much. But, yeah, I have no idea how I should go about improving this. You know, I have 5 in the crit rate. And how are my link skills looking like? Alright, I have the bowman skill. Okay. I mean, this is nice for monster collection, of course. And I have the phantom level 3 here. So what I could do is put the piece into crit rate and 
level the hyperstat a little further here. Hmm. And then I could use another training link skill at least. Okay, this is what I could do to optimize that. Okay, let's take a look at the bossing setup. Okay. Here it's a little easier, right? In the bossing setup, I do use a lot more crit rate because I have the phantom swapped out. I think, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look at that as well. Here, yeah. Hyperstat uh, page 2 is also with 5 levels into crit rate. And then let's take a look at the link skill setup here. Yes, exactly. I can't spot the phantom link here at all. Yeah, phantom instinct. Okay. So for the bossing, I already have it optimized, I would say. But I will need to rearrange the pieces here. So if I were to assign any units, I could... Ah, oh, wait. I can just put it like that. Attack luck. Yeah, I think... For the moment, right? This is... This is good enough. Again, you know, there's this hole here because the Wind Archer needs to level up and then, you know, we are done in the boss damage department. I don't mind this, to be honest. I, I feel like, you know, a lot of people would freak out at this or overreact, but at the end of the day, this is like 1% boss damage and... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways... A new, like, 35 attack plus how much is one... How much is one attack from, from the grid bonus? Ah, oh, no, this is a member bonus. Okay. Da -da -dum. Okay, 10 attack. How many pieces are here? Ah, uh -huh, so, okay. If I were to move this here, I'm at 5 attack. Okay. Wow. Only one attack per, per block. That's really awful, to be honest. Wow. I think I should rearrange this page. Honestly, I should rearrange both, right? To fill in the holes at least. But I really should rearrange this page and focus on filling out luck, I feel like. Because one... One... Dot here, one block is five luck. And five luck is better than one attack, definitely. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> at least. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I'm I'm relatively sure, like, one attack is, like, three to four luck, I think. Okay, so there are some gains to be made here. Anyways, let's check out how far along the Wind Archer is. And I'm definitely gonna use this potion here on the Wind Archer, even though it's not 100% optimal. No, I don't care. Because we are working on Legion, apparently, this episode, so... Let's continue with that. Oh, yeah. Okay, it is super strange logging into the Wind Archer and being in Scrapyard because this is basically where <laughs> all my Legion mutes die. <laughs> yeah. This is where we level up from 199 to 200 and then we put them to rest in the Scrapyard. How, how fitting. Okay. Will I get a level up? I don't think so, right? No. But it's gotta give me 50%. So... This is the other thing, right? Since the Mihail now reached level 260, I could do my dailies on the Wind Archer for the daily EXP. Especially with the Legion event ending, I think this is something that I, I con consider doing. I mean, I'm considering it right now, but I will consider it more seriously here in a couple of days when honestly the, the feeling of playing maple story is completely back because up until now i was basically spending my time sitting around in the legion afk area and <laughs> now i'm finally back to playing the game it, and i mean that's at least how it feels like to be honest huh so this is probably not going to be happening this week then, but rather next week. So, yeah, let's check out what else is there to do. Alright, so we pick things back up here in Shangri-La. I'm farming, I'm 
on my second wealth potion now and my buffs just expired so i'm rebuffing and yeah i wanted to continue the topic from earlier about the soul order booster i'm not 100 percent sure if you know that came across how i wanted it to come across so let me just you know reiterate i think honestly you know if i were to put the conclusion first or what i want to get out is that if you're buying this you're like part of the problem why why you know the cash up is so bad and you know for that let me like tell you the story of what other games i played in the meantime while well, you know i had to be confined to the uh how's this area even called <laughs> for me it's the legion peace area the abyssal expedition exactly so while i was standing around in the abyssal expedition in december and throughout you know the mid of january now i played a lot of magic so magic the gathering arena so the online version and you know it's not like i don't feel like paying for you know the games that i play but it's rather the opposite i i have to feel like i'm getting my my money's worth and in that game you know it's also heavily pay to win i would <laughs> i would say or you know you need to play like very uninteresting decks right it's a card game where you can craft decks so if you don't have cards you you can buy them basically of course there's levels of rng to it you know how modern games are nowadays but anyways the gist of the story is that i felt i was getting fun out of buying cards digital cards because you know i got to play them and it was very much fun and why am i bringing this up i'm bringing this up because i spent more in one and a half months of playing magic than since i picked up maple story again like 70 weeks ago <laughs> or you know it's it's week 62 but i i played a little bit beforehand just to make sure i actually want to go through with you know youtube etc so <laughs> so yeah because you know I, I i really felt like okay what i was buying was worth it right so it, it it might seem dumb that you know i could also just not spend money and grind it out right but you know then i wouldn't have as much fun and if i would feel like there would be a great alternative card game that I would enjoy just as much, which is cheaper. I would probably play that, right? But, you know, in this case, there isn't. Maybe, or I don't know it, right? And for Maple Story, right, if there would be things in the cash shop that... Yeah, would make the game so much more fun that... You know i would consider them necessary to buy i would buy them right or if i would get so much fun out of them so that i would consider it worth it to buy them i would buy them but you know there just isn't anything just you know sped up progression but you know sped up progression is simply I don't know I, I it, it doesn't do anything for me to be honest because better progression just puts me at the same point where i'm at but a little later like okay for example i'm stuck at the hard vellum solo right and i want to progress up okay i i go into the cash shop i buy something and boom now i'm stuck at the lotus solo <laughs> it's it's the it's the same thing speeding up progression through through buying things is just i don't know it, it isn't fun for me right so that's why this completely, you know, goes beyond me why they would even put something like that into the cash up. I mean, of course, it's in Reboot. And Reboot isn't pay to win, right? Wrong, no. Like, Reboot was always pay to win with 
the MVP red benefits, right? But the amount of winning that you do <laughs> is really a lot. And even, you know, with with the Soul Erda boots, I'm not feeling like I'm losing out to somebody who bought into this. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel betrayed by them. <laughs> because they, you know, they're so easy to win over. I don't know. Uh, maybe they got so much more money or <laughs> haven't been taught how to use it. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a really strange situation with that being in the cash shop permanently, right? Especially when this whole system is balanced around KMS, a sis like a system where there isn't even a daily, right? Of course, you know, they can sell the fragments in the auction house there, which GMS can't. But on average, like the average player gets much, much more fragments. Or much more? No, many, many more fragments than, uh, than the average player in KMS. So I feel like we're always going to be somewhat ahead of the balance when it comes to that, right? So what are they going to introduce when... Everybody starts to be kept out at, at the max of the Soul Arda game, right? Then this item is useless again, and there's not gonna be new content. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, like, it's all gonna be pushed down from KMS anyways, so... Which new content would there be, right? So it doesn't make any sense uh, for me, or honestly... For, for anybody to... <laughs> to buy this anyways especially now you know when kms introduced some really like a reboot harmful changes to the game i don't feel like i would spend any money on this game regardless right it's just hmm i don't know it seems it seems real bad <laughs> Maybe, you know, out of protest, if I can't win you over any other way. At least out of out of protest, look at what's in front of us and, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's enough for you. I don't know. We're going to see if this ever makes its way towards uh, GMS. But, you know, what I'm talking about is, you know, Reboot is basically like Rack Server, but without trading, which means that, you know, also the Mezzo income is... That's exactly the same, which without trading, you know, there's really no point to to it. So, if you ever played in a low populated server, it's basically reboot, but on, on like very extremely hard mode, where all the items have to be made by yourself, and the game is just not balanced around it. The game is balance around a healthy population that you know interacts with each other and you really feel that if you ever play on a low pop server so yeah and you know reboot is just gonna be that experience which is it isn't great it, it really isn't great anyways that was a little off topic we don't even know if these changes make it for GMS I honestly they're probably gonna arrive here and <laughs> the game is gonna die. But uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. And, you know, until then, you know, we're gonna liberate in like two weeks. And I will try and practice to solo the Black Mage. And honestly, I think um, then we are done with the series and we can take a look into any other goals that I might have. But yeah, the original goal for this series was to solo all the bosses up to Darknell, but Darknell was just such a bitch, to be honest. So I really waited until I had him out here, and then it really didn't feel like the, the close. As well as, you know, I really had fun producing the YouTube videos, which I still do, but, um, you know, there, there needs to be another goal now. So for now, the, the goal is to, to beat Black Mage solo. So, yeah. 
and until then, you know, I'm I'm getting ready <laughs> right now. You know, I'm I'm going through my Legion Wealth coupons for the first time in in weeks, to be honest. So yeah, that's great. Uh, we're we're getting money finally again, right? I might even do my bossing mules this week. We're gonna see. We're gonna see, right? I'm at 32 build right now. I think I started at like 31. I know I boomed the earrings, but what else did happen? I'm not 100% sure, but I have no crystals right now in my inventory, so this is, this is you know, all the money that I have right now. Anyways, just looking at the etc. type here, I see that I can upgrade my Shadow Bite. So let's just do that. We're gonna go to level 16. It doesn't do anything, but... Now it's one step closer to reducing the cooldown. I think the next cooldown reduction happens at level 19. So we are still yeah, 300, what is it, 30 maybe fragments away from that. So that is, yeah, not gonna happen this episode. <laughs> but I am doing my best, grinding, grinding, grinding away. And the goal will be to, to get it to level 24. So, until I really get the full use out of my 6 shop and upgrade these skills that actually do damage, I'm I'm doing this. Upgrading Shadow Bite. Because I want to. <laughs> Alright, I'm just chilling in Hennesis now after finishing up a massive grind today. It's already quite late, but, you know, at least I wanted to level up you know some hexa skills here together with you guys so i think we got enough to level up by twice so cooldown's still gonna be 12 seconds okay and cooldown's still gonna be 12 seconds oh no ouch but the next level up is gonna go it's gonna go down to 11 seconds that's nice, but you know, that's probably another ways away. I might, I might be able to grind this out tomorrow. 100 frags a day? That's very possible. I did more than that today, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see if it can happen or not. <laughs> Here I am, back on Wednesday. And guess what? I was able to farm over 100 more fragments today. <laughs> Which means that I can upgrade once more. So, here we go. Shadow Bite from level 18 to level 19 will reduce the cooldown further. And just to put into context what this does, right? So, here on the left side, I've written down all the interesting... Uh, notable things that are going to change first of all you know the mobs respawn every like 7.56 seconds and with shadow bite at you know level 11 we're gonna end up at 7.78 seconds of cooldown so a little bit more than the respawn timer of the mobs and this is also what you know kms can achieve we have the threats of fate that give me an extra second of cooldown reduction or you know if you're realistic about it that's the max that you know kms can achieve but of course you could roll a five minus five second cooldown head or minus six second cooldown head right but generally minus four on the head and minus one on the wings is basically the max right so you, you can see you know i'm i befriended these three characters so the friends of fate or the wings of fate give me minus one seconds of extra cooldown reduction so this is you know all the calculation etc but anyways with this level up i'm gonna be ending up at 7.78 seconds of cooldown which is probably the best i'm not 100 percent sure if going under the respawn timer which you know we would achieve at level 24 where the base cooldown goes down to 10 seconds yeah i'm not 100 sure if that would be better or not 
But yeah, anyways, I think we should just level up now. So, we just loot here one more time. Make sure we didn't miss no fragments, right? And then let's head to town. So, here we go. Yes. Oh, we got another fragment. In, so, nice. <laughs> I was like, should I wait until I'm at like 121? So... I don't have to move the fragment around and lock it again once I get a new one. Oh, but we got another one. Okay. So anyways, enhance level 19. And from here on out, level 19 to level 24, when the cooldown is going to be reduced again, it's roughly 820 fragments, I think, if I remember correctly. So, you know, at the pace where I'm currently yet that would be like seven days but who am i kidding i'm not i'm not capable of keeping this up so maybe give it like three weeks i think it's more realistic until we we get to that point and then we are you know done putting points into this skill and can actually upgrade the rest of our skill set although there's a leveling guide Right? I think I would prefer to start off putting a couple of points into Greater Dark Servant simply for the fact that the duration of that skill goes up and it's just super nice to hit the mini burst so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do anyways there's one more thing that I want to talk about there's you know a potion that I forgot to claim I just noticed that today here is the mag potion, so like we established, this is gonna be fed into the wind archer, which will hopefully get to level 250 soon. So let's check that out. All right, so here we are. Let's claim that. And to be honest, I could just eat another mag potion after this one and be completely done, but we are so close to 250. I might as well do the dailies for a couple of days and hit 250 through that. Okay, so speaking of Legion gains, I just took the time and redid the whole Legion setup. So right now I'm in my Damage Link skill setup and Damage Legion setup. This one point of boss damage right here is gonna be filled as soon as the Wind Archer here levels up. So, you know then you know it's not gonna look as ugly anymore and i did remove some crit rate even from what we had before and decided to put a few more points into the hyper stud simply for the reason because i think it's better i don't know i just felt like filling out luck completely and this really also gives me a clear vision of what's what's ahead of me so with 9.5k legion right i would have another four slots at least that i could fill in and then i would need still one two three four five maybe six two fifties in order to fill out attack completely which is quite insane so there's definitely you know a lot of work still ahead of us i said that maybe six because i i screwed up <laughs> i screwed up the setup this should have only been like one extra instead of two here but i kind of like the the look it reminded me of like an an old castle or you know the the way you would make castle walls in like minecraft or something like that i <laughs> i don't know that's why i decided to keep it but you know if you take a look at my crit rate right now i'm at 101 percent crit rate and i only noticed that because when you know my sharp eyes runs out i'm at 91 percent why is that because the hyper set starting from level six gives two points per point into it so anyways, I wasn't really aware of that. With all these optimizations out of the way, I am at 53k stats still, I think. Wait, didn't I see 54? Ah, no, it was before I changed my link skills. Yeah, 
I've the Xenon Link skill in in my training setup. I'm pretty sure that's why I was 54k. But okay, 53.7k. And the last thing for this episode is to, you know, take all these gains into Colvard and check out how, you know, hard we can hit the dummy for. So last week we got 20k for the first time, which, you know, meant that, yes, we are a contributing member of society now. Wait, it was the beginning of this episode, I forgot. But, you know, still reset-wise for Colvard, it was last week, right? So if I were to check Culvert from last week, da -da -dum, I am not even on page one, which is completely fine. I am here at 21,800. Damn, what a nice score. Let's hope I can improve this. Uh, I might not be able to. <laughs> or raise the pencil a little bit on, on luck, etc. You have to stack so many buffs, etc. Right? It's... Is the whole deal, but yeah, let's hope I can beat this and get to 22,000 this week. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was close, but nope. <laughs> okay, actually, the last thing for this episode is gonna be a hard Saren run because that also still needs to happen this week and. I'm just waiting for my guild skills to cool down here. But I completely forgot to mention how good the Shadow Bite cooldown is at, at level 19. It's it's really nice. Like it's really, really, really nice. I can stand here for a very long time without missing anything. It's it's actually crazy how long I can just stand here with me biting the waves perfectly now it's it's just started to desync a little bit but yeah let's see if i can clear this wave again i don't think so right boom and then now is the respawn yeah and now is the respawn but still not as not so bad wow yeah I, I got nearly all the mobs here then i bite it nearly nothing that's fine and now it's going to be, be better again for the next next like minute or so it's this is actually this is crazy good. Yeah, this is super good. Yeah, I still have my raw equipped. I was <laughs> I was really just testing testing this. I didn't even equip any like farming gear or something like that. So yeah, but cool. Like yeah, cool. We are getting somewhere now. It really feels. Like, it was super worth it to make this investment. And I'm hoping that, you know, I can get this to 24 and then it feels even better. And even if it doesn't feel any better, I can just remove the Wings of Fate and return to this. So, yeah, up until now, yeah, level 19 is the way to go, I think. Let's see. So, about that Saren run that I wanted to show. Slash, you know, just the loot room, right? Yeah, I died out this week. <laughs> uh, I, had, uh, I had some uh, big troubles with, uh, you know, pillars. And that continued into P2 where the... Like, what is it? Uh, sun face? Or the, like the red face? You know, these pillars, you know, also hurt very much. So yeah, I just died out. Because, you know, for me, in... I want to stick to my roar, right? The roar is basically as big as this platform right here. And when there are too many pillars, you just can't dodge them and you'll just die and then you'll lose the roar and then, you know, it's just a downward spiral. So, yeah, the red phase is is very, very hard without the Jenny iframe. I think, you know, as soon as I would have that, I would just activate that and be good, right? Uh, for other bosses, you would just, you know, have the boss bound and then, you know, basically nothing is happening anymore. But in Saren, in that phase, you bind Saren, but, you know, all the things still keep happening, so... <laughs> hmm, yeah. So, I'm, I just got, you know, started uh, with, with the session here. I noticed I don't have the Wings of Fate on, that's why... I noticed it, it's, it's actually... 
yeah, it is quite impactful that I noticed this immediately. Um, so yeah, also no WAP yet. Okay, anyways, I don't want to bore you. This is the end of the episode. I want to thank you so much for watching. If this episode reaches five likes, I will do another one next week. How about that? <laughs> anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.